So this is the new navigation system. If I, uh, for example, say let's navigate to work, first big difference is the turn by turn is on the left hand side and then after a few seconds it will uh, collapse to a smaller view which gives you more real estate and then uh, you can either drag down, which is a little awkward, drag up. Uh, it's, so, it's sort of hard to grab the drag. I don't, yeah, you can slide this. But what's easier is just to tap the top. So you can tap to collapse, tap to open, and it looks like it shows you your next uh, two turns in a minimized view. Gives you a gear to get at all of the navigation settings, which are also available under uh, controls, uh, navigate, same set of settings are quickly available here with the gear right there. Uh, the um, controls uh, are been moved from the left to the right. Now the one thing I don't like being moved over to the right is your uh, view. You have three views. You have your uh, drive view, uh, trip view and a north view and a lot of times what happens you know you normally in dry view you might uh, touch the screen or zoom in or zoom out and then as you drive it, you know um, once you touch or zoom in zoom out the screen the navigation stays um, uh, map stays in that position so you quickly navigate off and you have to tap this to come back into navigate mode that icon used to be over here definitely would tap it a fair amount now sort of don't like it I wish they would uh, try to incorporate it within this subset looks like touching here not only uh, collapses and uncollapses this but it changes your view it's, this is your typical mode you want to be in um, which is your navigate mode and then if I touch this it's going to a trip mode when I come back out okay it's going to navigate so you can get back to navigate uh, by just tapping here twice if you happen to so if I happen to move this off and I don't have it I can touch here and touch there to get back into the navigate mode alternatively if I'm like over there I can reach over and touch that it's a little bit of a stretch under settings one new thing is use HOV lanes uh, and that way if you are like you have two or three two plus uh, passengers it would navigate you into the HOV lanes um, and if you have it off it won't navigate you into them I did notice uh, I had this set previously to 10 minutes um, or it reset to 10 minutes after V9 got installed so you may want to check to see a after V9 install if this is set to what you want uh, I thought I had it set to five minutes and it can go down to one minute I'm thinking two minutes might be nice to reroute if uh, traffic if it can find a fa better path um, you have the you can mute unmute uh, the voice I usually keep that off because it interrupts music the uh, other big difference is um, they've gone to a uh, yellow or orange color for light traffic and then red and dark red for bad traffic so if I zoom out and they've gotten rid of all the green so your screen used to be full of green and now it's uh, just showing traffic uh, and I think if I go to some place with some bad traffic you'll see the three shades New York definitely will have it um, so you have the dark red and red and then orange or yellow for light traffic so you now have three shades of uh, traffic level uh, instead of just the it used to be red and dark red so that's what's new in navigation it's uh, it's pretty cool the the nav the whole navigation oh uh, exit sign so I'm gonna go on a, a road and see if we get some exit information here yeah so here's my first uh, exit uh, south one sign that showed up and uh, we'll probably see that in a minute and here's the uh, south one sign matching the south one sign there on the uh, turn by turn new uh, exit symbol 276 
So they've enhanced the uh, supercharging information. So uh, in normal display, it, it does always identify where the superchargers are. And then if you press this icon down here, you get more detail about the superchargers distance and then a little battery, which identifies how many stalls they have and how many are used. And then if you press one, you get some information about uh, the supercharging station, how many stalls are available, and uh, what uh, max uh, charging capability it has. Uh, also price information, which is great, idle fees, and what's uh, near, near it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.